that how you design those programs. In all of the programs that I attended, all of the education that I had, college, public, and otherwise, nobody ever told me that I was an African woman. Nobody ever told me what the history of African people were. Nobody ever told me that America is business and without business you will have nothing and be nothing. And nobody ever told me how to organize business so that I would be able to develop institutions in my own community. So now the sincerity, the sincerity of all of the programs and all of the education has to be questioned indicted and convicted because the bottom line is that America is not and has never tried to produce African adults who are functional, self-sufficient, who understand their politics, their economics, and their relationship to the world politics and the world economics. ...with the NAACP, the Urban League, and the traditional We, Come, we Shall Overcome Neo uh, civil rights leaders of the 50s and 60s Neo that Neo have been all but abandoned and ignored yeah. by younger people. People, sister soldier yeah. included. Next, 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 next. I think that the dice are loaded, and that's what's left out of Mr. Brown's piece. Mm -hmm. See, there was a period of time in this country after uh, uh, re Reconstruction where African people owned a lot of land, owned a lot of businesses, and did a lot of things. But what happened was the American government, the Ku Klux Klan, and uh, other organizations organized in smashing that effort. So it's not that we haven't tried to own land and have not organized businesses. It's that if you are African in America, or in Latin America, or in the Caribbean, or in the continent, you will be hunted no matter what you do, because they do not want us to survive and become self-sufficient. Well, and you can say no, but you haven't lived this life. You haven't lived this life. I think that they have to be happy. We want food. I'm talking about that. All right. Okay. Now, to paraphrase Senator Bradley of uh, New Jersey, the uh, state from which you your piece was. Senator uh, Bradley gets much right when he talks. Uh, well, he does, and he among other things, and he's not claiming to be particularly original with the observation, we can't get there unless we go together. I have a terrible feeling that behind me are some people who do not agree. Senator, <laughs> Senator, <laughs> Senator, excuse me, Senator Bradley of the all-white United States Senate said, we can't get there unless we all go there together. Sorry. None of us are where he is. That's number one. Number two, you're making an, a moral appeal mm -hmm. to a country that doesn't have a moral conscience. Right. The question becomes that when white people feel serious and angry and upset about abortion, they come out in the thousands up to the millions to say, this is what we believe about abortion. Where is the white outcry against white racism that murders African people all around this entire globe? It doesn't exist. So who are these white good people? I want to meet them. I want to I see know them. I know you. I know you. It's not enough. But that's why that, that, that might be all we can get. Uh, you know, no, no. And guess what? I don't work with all I can get. What I work with is what I have. Listen, you have to have some confidence yes. in the power of African people amongst ourselves to establish a foundation. We have. I mean, no, we have. We have, we have utter chaos in our cities, and you've got There's to no that. You can, can have a program. I Say, I'm not saying we've built a lot of institutions, sure. and those institutions have not been effective. The majority of millions of African youth in this country are dying mentally, dying spiritually, dying emotionally, dying academically. And you may have a program, Mr. Brown may have a program, but what we got to talk about is an American government that tracks millions of African people who don't go to your program, don't go to Brown's program. Millions of African people, not only here, but all around the world. And if we are not honest enough to say who are our friends, who are our enemies, to know what a friend is, to know what an enemy is, we will constantly be trying to get into people's parties, to shake our butts with them, to get them to like us. And that's not the question. The question is, what can we build amongst ourselves to secure ourselves from our enemies so that we will be able to survive into the future? Mayor Kelly. Mayor that's enough to know that if I walk out Washington, D.C. tonight, some black kid in Washington, D.C. is blowing off another black kid's head for a pair of sneakers because the institutions that we're talking about, not the things that we hold up to say, look, this is one example. The institutions that we're talking about are not saving the minds of those African children. Now, that is the honest truth. You, 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 you have black none of these
Negro save me. None of these Negroes. Your mother didn't help save you. None of them. Now, you did it by yourself. None of them. Listen. You know who saved me? A man named John the Same in Inglewood, New Jersey, who told me who I was, who showed me my history, who told me who my enemies were, who let me know that this was not an easy world, who let me know that this was a cold environment, who let me know that what he's not a part of is dilly dallying with the minds of African children and letting them know what the real situation is in America.